Hey, Moondog here. We're at the range today to test out a little theory about uh, whether or not uh, if you measure the rims of a uh, 22 uh, long rifle, you'll get more accurate or at least more consistent uh, groups out of uh, just regular ammo or even match grade ammo for that matter. But in any case, we're just using bulk blue box uh, federal champion and I have pre-measured, pre-sorted out by weight uh, in grains, uh, a group of, uh, of uh, bullets around about 0 0.2 grain, 2.23 grain difference in the overall group. And uh, I've measured out using a gauge uh, rim thicknesses. And we're gonna see if there's any difference at all in any of the groups between the ones that I've measured the rim thicknesses on and ones I didn't. So let's see. Hey, Moondog here. Now, there is a school of thought in 22 long rifle accuracy that rim thickness affects consistency. And of course, if you're using match grade ammo, they have really high quality control standards on all of their cartridges. So there should be higher levels of consistency, both in the um, bullet weight, bullet shape, um, amount of propellant, amount of primer, and um, of course, rim thickness. Now, there are variations uh, in rim thickness which can affect both headspace and the amount of primer uh, that is in uh, the rim. So there is a school of thought that uh, you should measure out the rim thickness to, for maximum consistency. And we're going to use this uh, Neil Jones accuracy gauge to measure out the rim thickness of this regular bulk box ammo. In fact, I'm going to be using federal range bulk ammo because um, match grade ammo, like I mentioned, is, um, has pretty consistent uh, rim thickness. So, bulk box ammo is not as highly quality controlled. There's going to be a larger range in rim thickness, in cartridge size, headspace, uh, and primer. Um, so, if there is going to be any difference in um, performance when you measure out rim thickness, it's probably gonna show up more in just this bulk box ammo, which has the, the highest deviation uh, um, versus uh, match grade ammo. So we're gonna test that out. We're gonna measure out uh, the rim thickness in, um, in 50 cartridges of bulk box ammo, and I'm gonna compare it against just random pulls from this box. So we're gonna start here um, with this gauge. So the way this gauge works is um, there's a different thickness in this bar and um, there's measurement, um, measurement numbers on the top. So you put your cartridge inside the chamber and you slide it over and where it stops is your thickness number. So that is four. And we're gonna put the fours here and we're gonna measure the next one. And that is a six. And we're just going to put all the numbers together, the fives together with the fives and the fours with the fours, et cetera, et cetera. So that's a five. And we're going to take this out to the range and I'm gonna compare these pre-measured cartridges, rim, rims, um, with uh, my random pulls and see if there's any difference in the groups. I chose the number five size rims for the test and weighed those cartridges along with random non-rim sorted cartridges as my control group. I'm using a factory stock CZ457 VPC with a 16 inch barrel. And I'll start with a fouling round to warm it up. I've set up three inch reactive targets downrange at 100 yards. We'll be firing five rounds into each of them, starting with the four on top with rim sorted cartridges and then transitioning to the four below with the random pull out of the box.
All right, the rim sorted set is done. And before I get started with the next set, I'm gonna run a dry snag through the bore to remove excess wax so that the unsorted sample has the same amount of quote unquote barrel seasoning as the rim sorted sample. All right, now we're gonna fire 40 rounds of unsorted cartridges. did hey do me a favor and hit the like and subscribe buttons right now it just takes a second it's absolutely free but it's really important because google and these other big tech platforms actively suppress firearms videos so by hitting like and subscribe you're overriding their algorithm and you'll get to see more of the content that you actually like to watch I ran the numbers through my Range Buddy app, and on average, the rim sorted groups came in at 1.27 MOA. And in the control sample of non rim sorted cartridges, the groups were different, but on average, they were 1.27 MOA. Exactly the same. Which only goes to show how important it is to have multiple samples in your test. In this case, four targets yielded us an average that turned out to be just average. All right, so there you go. Uh, I, you know, we crunched the numbers and it doesn't look like there is a significant difference between uh, measuring the RAM thicknesses on um, at least the 22 uh, federal champions that I was uh, shooting with versus uh, not measuring um, the RAM thicknesses. So uh, maybe it's better with, uh, with, with uh, some other ammo or perhaps it makes more of a difference with, if you have a per precision tight barrel or tight chamber or a pistol but in my cz 457 not so much anyway thanks for watching and if you got something out of this video please hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and hit that notification bell and you'll be notified the next time i post a video and of course the best thing you can do to encourage me uh, to make these videos is to share your, this video with uh, your friends and uh, buddies thanks again for watching Moondog, out. By the way, if you enjoyed this video, I do reviews on other gear besides guns and ammo on my other channel, Moondog R&D, and I invite you to check it out. And if you want to see all of my videos, check out MoondogIndustries.com.